Here's how to tackle a common frustration when building a no-code app with Bubble.io, and that is how do you loop through something? If you come from a traditional coding background, you may be familiar with for loops, but what if we wanted to take a single line input, or this is a multi-line input, doesn't really matter, but we wanted our users to enter a series of values, and then we wanted to take each one and create a separate item in our database for each one. So we want a cake item, an eggs item, and a butter item, and we're separating them by commas. Well, let me show you how to do that. But before I launch into it, if you're watching this video, it's because you've got an amazing idea and you're trying to build it with no code. If you want to accelerate that process and get access to hundreds of resources, then head to our website, planetnocode.com. The link is down in the description. But let's dive into tackling this challenge. Uh, so I'm going to go back into the editor and this is an app that I've used for many demos, but we're just focusing on the items data type. Uh, so I need to have uh, my line, multi-line input or input here, and then uh, save each I like, oh, this is from a previous demo. So there you go, I've got a separate one showing that, but we're saying save each comma separated item. So if we wanted to save one item, we just add a workflow and we would say data, create a new thing, and we'd say item, uh, and then we'd get the label and we'd then connect it to our input. But the trouble is that's gonna save our text, it's gonna save all three items as a single line in our database. Now, there is no option to loop in a front-end workflow. If you wanted to, you could create sort of three create new items here, but then that only works if you know that you're always going to get three as an input. If it's gonna be X number of things that you're dealing with that you need to separate out, you can't do that in a front-end workflow, but you can do it making use of a back-end workflow. So let's go into back-end workflows. If you don't see this, you need to enable back-end workflows in settings in the API tab, and you need to be on a paid plan for your bubble app in order to make this work. So let's create a new back-end workflow. It's not public, and we will just say save shopping item. And what, we are, what are we passing from our front end to our back end? We're just passing text. We're not actually dealing with anything in the database just yet. Now the perspective, the mindset to get into here is that this workflow here will run for every item. So if we have three comma separated values in our front end, we will be running this back end workflow three times. So we set it up for one thing. So we create a new thing, we create an item, and then the label for that item is just going to be the text because we're going to be splitting up our larger block of text in the front end and sending through each individual as text into the back end. Uh, so let's go back into our loop and we just connect the two together back to our page where I'm demoing this. Uh, so that's not gonna work. Instead, we say schedule API workflow on a list. Now the thing we're working with is not items because we don't have an item. From the front end perspective, we are just dealing with text. We have a, a larger block of text, which is three comma separated values. And we're gonna split that using split by into three much smaller items of text. So we are dealing with text here. And so the list to run on is our multi-line input A's value. Now this is not a list from a database perspective, it's just a block of text with three items separated by commas, a single block of text. But we can use split by, and split by is amazing. Do go and check out my other videos on split by. It solves a whole heap of issues when it comes to isolating bits of text and you know, dealing with, with larger documents or AI generated text, really helpful. So what are we splitting it by? Well, we're splitting it by a comma and a space. But what if we wanted to just account for the fact that our users may set, you, you can instruct a user to enter a series of comma separated values, but they might not always separate them with a space. So we're just gonna say separate it with a comma and no space, but we don't want that space to be there at the end. So we don't want it to say cake space and that's it. We just want it to say cake. So we can use trimmed and trimmed is gonna remove a space at the start or if there happens to be one at the end as well. Uh, so we then connect up to our back end workflow. This is save shopping items. So at the top here, we are thinking in terms of a list. 
And then now we get to this point, we're thinking in terms of each item in list. So what do we pass through to our backend workflow, which is gonna run three times in this instance, we pass through to it this text. This text refers to a single item that comes out of the expression here. So this would be cake, nothing else, eggs, nothing else, etc. And then scheduled, well, we just want it to run right away. Perfect, we leave it like that. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our preview and run it. And this is going to execute very quickly on the front end because most of it, well, the create item, I mean, it's very low, um, low weight workflow we're doing. We're just creating an item in the database, but most of it happens in the back end. Uh, when it comes to debugging back end workflows, you can go ahead and look at them in server logs. If you are doing a lot more heavy lifting with back end workflows, you may find that they queue up and you can go here and click show and it's going to show you any unexecuted or waiting uh, back end workflows and Bubble will just chug through them in its own time. Uh, but that's only really if you're doing something much more heavy because what we can see here is that it has worked. And if I go in and edit button, we can even see if I click there, there's no pesky space there. It's got it's extracted butter cleanly from our list of text. And now we've got uh, our three items nicely separated out. So we've gone from a single piece of text separated by commas to uh, three separate items in the database. So that's how you can effectively build a for loop to separate comma separated values in your bubble app.